She's in the hospital and won't pray. Amen. Um, Erica Charles, Reverend Charles' sister. Uh, she's having, she's got cancer. Amen. And we need to lift her up in prayer. Amen. Uh, so we're going to pray for Vivian Rooks in Aurora, Colorado. Carolyn Carter in Dayton, Texas. Lola Wanza in Houston, Texas. Evan Plantis Children's in Orange, Texas. Doris White uh, family doing time with Raymond. We pray for B.O. Hardy. Yeah. Uh, I was yeah. request uh, yeah. to pray for Dr. and Sister Ralton Stevens, uh, Anton Menifee, the Williams family, Wilson family, and Pam's family, and we're dealing with bereavement. Um, Shane Billard, uh, Leslie Eason, Chief Allen Ivory, Louisiana. His surgery has been postponed till the 21st, so continue to lift him up uh, as he prepares for that surgery. Uh, Michelle Gobert, that family want to pray for because their mother got dementia. Mm -hmm. Praying for Marlon Lee, oh, yeah. Reed Menifee, mm -hmm. Harold Taylor Sr., oh, yeah. Harold Taylor Jr., Jared Eason. Also, we want to pray for Sean Graham as he's recovering from COVID. Um, Cheryl Spielman, the Emerson family. Also, we want to pray for all the schools and the school districts uh, in the world that our children Amen. are going through Amen. being challenged with COVID because a lot of folks Amen. are still in denial that COVID is not real. That's right. That's right. I uh, want to pray for that Groveton Nursing Home in Groveton, Texas. Um, Sister Jacqueline, good to see you this morning. Amen. I want to pray for the Russo family during that time of bereavement. Uh, also, I want to pray for Ruth Jones and family. Catherine Eason, also Sister Delta Shelton. Uh, we're looking at what else we got on here. Sister, what we got? Uh, Deacon Billy Lee Senior, Brother C.K. Simon, Deacon Wilford Simon, Sister Marie Eason, Sister Princess Watkins, Sister Leslie Eason, Brother Casey, uh, Sister Janice Lee, uh, also Pastor Rodney Thomas, um, co-worker Michelle Lowe. And her mother, Carolyn Peace, Abba Calvin, uh, Louise Duffy, uh, looking at Reverend Sweat. We want to pray for him, his death and his family. Understand his sister passed away. We want to actually pray for him. Uh, Raymond and Julie Wells, Davis family, Bobby Simon, the Olmstead family, the Lawton family, the Thomas family, Kim Gallagher. Uh, Kim had surgery. She's already uh, went home, so we pray. Thank you for praying Amen. for her and continue to pray for her Amen. recovery. Albert James Hardy, Sister Barbara Hardy, Sister M.A. Hardy, Tasha Hardy, Samantha Eason, Johnny Bradford, uh, Lynn Taylor, uh, Sister Jackie Lee, uh, Pam Banks, Reverend Ryan and his family, Cindy Landry, Sister Cindy Landry, uh, Brother James Jones and James Jones Jr., Johnny Goldsmith. Pastor Springs and Overseer Springs in Tennessee, Jerry Eskridge Sr. in Tennessee, Jerry Eskridge Jr. here in Houston, Candace Gobernado and family, Dr. A.M. Landry and family, um, Albert Hanks, uh, and also Precious Carter in Florida. Anybody else's name you'd like to add to our prayer list today? Linda Thomas family, family of Bereavement. Linda Thomas of Bereavement. Okay. Terry Lee Lumpkin and family. Okay. Sandra Martin. Sandra? Yes. Um, bereavement with Thomas. Uh, what about the Lumpkin family? That bring me as well? He just told me to pray for us. Okay. Just wait a moment there. The Lord knows what he needs. Okay. The Lord knows. Okay. All right. Sandra Martin, just illness? No, it's a lady. I, um, if you don't mind, I met her uh, at a little birthday party mm -hmm. Friday night. We was at the same party, and uh, she lost her faith in God. Okay. She just sat down, and she was talking to me, and she was like, my husband died in January. I stopped going to church. Okay. And, um, and I told her, I say, uh, I go to church, but I still got some work. He's still working on me. I say, but God don't make no mistakes, ma'am. 
I say, he's a good God. I say, don't turn on him because he's the person that you need right now. Right. And we just talked. We talked for, even after the party was over, I think we stayed there three more hours. Wow. And we just th talked about God and what, what he will do. And like I told him, I said, I, wasn't, I told her, I said, I wasn't coming to this party, but he kept nudging me. Okay. He kept nudging me. And I told her, now I know why he was nudging me, because I was going to meet you. That made a difference. Yes. Amen. Amen. Sandra Martin, will lift her name up. Amen. Amen. That's the Lord's continue. Lift a spirit up. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And now I understand why he gave me this sermon to preach today. Sister Amen. Lynn. Did you call off Reverend Charles's yeah. sister? Yes, ma'am. And Sister Beverly? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes. And a whole long. Yes. Put Jeray on the power list. Grand old Jeray. Okay. Brothers and sisters, it's important for us. We're looking at the gospel of the sermons today. is going to come out of Matthew. Uh, the 20th chapter, and we're going to be looking at verses 30 through 34, and we're ready for the hymn of preparation. Holy, 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 somebody touch me, holy, 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 somebody touch me, holy, holy, holy. Somebody touch me, it must have been the hands of the Lord when I was praying. Somebody touch me when I was praying. Somebody touch me when I was praying. Somebody Passion on them 
and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. On a useful subject, deliverance from the power of darkness. Amen. 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 Deliverance from the power of darkness. Say that again. Deliverance. Yeah. From the power of darkness. Yeah. Find now that this little narrative is important for us. There's a lot of important things we can learn from this. It's a it's, it's an awesome, powerful thing because we're looking at darkness, physical darkness. Yeah. We're looking at according to verse 29. Yeah. And as they departed from Jericho, a great multitude followed him. Yeah. We find that Jesus was doing what he normally do, mm -hmm. taking care of business, moving around. Yeah. But here's a, a situation, Sister Princess, that's amazing. It's, it's a sorrowful picture. We're looking at the 20th chapter of Matthew, verse 30 through 34. And verse 30 says, Sister Janiah, and behold. Mm -hmm. Sister Jeskaya says, two blind men. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, that's a sorrowful picture. Oh, yes. Well, you're looking at right here, Sister Cynthia, they are physically blind. Yes. 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 Brothers and sisters, today we have people that are spiritually blind. Yes. That's a place when you're looking, trying to figure out how in the world can, it, it hits me sometimes when I get out there and study and I try to reach people, all of a sudden people just push back. It, 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 it's a hard thing to wonder why I can't reach them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But I found out it ain't for me to worry about. That's right. Amen. Amen. That ain't my problem. Yes. My problem is to tell them the story. Yeah. Yes. Brother yes. Susan, this don't help you as well because that's somebody you've been trying to share with. Yes. yes. Like Sister Lynn, you met somebody that, that gave up on God, but you were giving up some hope. Yes. yes. And that, yes. That, that's the most important thing. Through your testimony, yes, yes, yes. that you had a touch from the master, yes, it yes, makes no difference yes, what nobody else thinks. That's right, that's right. It's what you know for yourself. Yes, right. Right. When there is a deliverance yes. from the power uh -huh. of darkness. Yes. Yes. Now look right here, Sister Lynn. He says, and behold, not one but two blind men. Yes. Mm -hmm. They were sitting mm -hmm. by the wayside. Mm -hmm. yes. First of all, Dick and Wilbur Simon, uh -huh. they had to be poor. Yes. They had to be beggars on the side of the road. Yes. Yes. And here's the thing right here, Mrs. Mm Neeson. -hmm. They were men who had no hope. Well, uh -huh. Because guess what? All through their lives, they never have the privilege like you and I to be able to see uh -huh. yes. the beautiful birds, uh -huh. see their mother smile, yes. Oh, yes. see their daddy. Yes. Face. Yes. And now with that, when I look right here, Sister Cynthia, mm. they had no promise to live on. Mm. They were in a different, different place. Oh, yes. They were in a place that had no prospect for hope. Mm. Oh, and here's the key. We all at one time was that way when we didn't have Christ in our lives. Amen. Oh, yes. That was us. Amen. When we were spiritually blind. Yes, yes. We thought we had it going on. Yes, yes. You're reaching out. I find yes. I reach out to people, and people don't say, "I got the message, but I don't want to touch with you." And they tell me right now, I, because I made a change in my life. Mm -hmm. There are people. There's a difference between darkness and light. Amen. Yes. And people don't want to have nothing to do with you because it's yes. two opposites. Amen. Yes. And it's amazing right here. Wow. We, we find that. There are people that, who ain't got Christ in their lives are poor indeed. And they don't realize how poor they really are. Yes. Spiritually poor. Yes, yes. They're in a place where they think they got it going on. All money ain't good money. They're blind. Now, these two blind men right here, Sister Cynthia, they had no eyes to look on the passing Savior. Uh -huh. They were blind like that, Brother Cecil, all their life. Yes, yes. And Jesus had to make a move with the Jack and Lee. Yes, yes. To get in contact with these blind men. Yes. 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 Don't you understand this? You'll find it. That's what Jesus came down for. 
Jesus has resigned none should perish. As we look in the story, we're looking at yes. misery. Mm -hmm. We're looking at somebody in a suffering situation. Yeah. Yeah. The picture of those who are destitute in spiritual visions, walking in darkness and having no light. That's a sad place to be when you ain't got no vision. Amen. You ain't got no spiritual insight. Yes. Yes. And you're walking around in darkness. Yes. And ain't got no light at all. All yeah. right, all right. So I can tell you, sure enough, when my, my mama and my grandma kept telling me years ago, say, you ain't doing what God wants you to do. I didn't want to hear that. All right. I was supposed to be some good marijuana, to drunk me some good thunderbird and ripple, and they cared nothing what they had to say. Right. But it was a nullifying feeling to not hear and be obedient to what I need to be doing. Yes. Understand this. I'm talking about myself. And guess what? These two men right now, Sister Landry, are helpless. Yes. Here's the key. Although, Sister Princess, there are two of them, they can't help each other. All right, all right. The blind. Yeah, lead the blind. Lead the blind. Yeah. Hey, y'all see that thing? Yeah. 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 You'll see somebody just ain't got a clue. Need somebody else ain't yeah. got a clue. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. We, we see it today in contemporary. Yes. But back yes. in biblical days, I want to set the stage so you can see this. Yes. yes. I want you to see Jesus coming with a great multitude behind him. But here are two blind men on the side of the road. Yes. Yes. It's totally darkness. They're oblivious to what's going on. They have no idea that the Savior of humanity is walking in their presence. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At one time, we were all guilty and impotent because we didn't believe who the Lord is. That's one right. thing about it, everybody is guilty in God's eyes. Amen. Amen. He said, all have sinned. Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. Amen. Become sure. Yeah. And the most important thing this morning is, brothers and sisters, help must come from above. Yes, yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Psalm 121, I will lift up my eyes. Unto from what? Unto his coming, my help. My help comes, comes from, from above. above. That's right. That's right. Thank God that God decided to send us some help. Yes. In the form of Jesus. Yes. And he sat down and walked this dusty yes. road. Yes. So you and I can have a put our hands on something in God's promissory note that let us know that the word became flesh. Yes. And it walked around not looking for the uppity folk. Now here's the key, you understand? This ain't for the aristocrat. This is yes. one for the lowly. Yes. Spiritually broke. Yes. Emotionally broke. It lies today. Yeah. On the situation, ain't got no hope. Kind of like that young lady you're talking about, sister man, been walked away from God. Yes. Yeah. In a dark place. Yeah. Yeah. And the power of darkness have creeped in because yeah. death will do that to you. Yeah. Yeah. Grief will do that to you. Yeah. Yeah. It'll put you in a place where you shut up the whole wide world. Yeah. You're an emotional place. You're mad at God, mad at everything in the whole wide world. And just don't understand, God's in control. Yes, He is. Proverbs 3rd chapter, verse 5 and 6 say, Trust in God. Yes. yes. And lead not to thy own yes. understanding. Yes. And in all thy ways acknowledge him. Yes. And he yes. shall what? Direct thy path. He's going to direct your path. Yes. 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 We find right here, this is real interesting right here. Yes. We find, Sister Lynn, a passing opportunity. All of a sudden, in come the Son of God. And man's only choice and chance to get for deliverance and out of the power of darkness is through Jesus Christ. Amen. That's why Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to Father, but he most of all said, I am the light of the world. But I need you to understand, it makes no difference that this switch you turn on if the power ain't there.
you talk to a person that you know yes. that do twice as much talking and half as much listening. Yes. So God then gave you one too many ears. Yes. But here was somebody in a distant place. Brother and sister, I don't know what you've been going through, but I know that, Sister Lee, that's what God put on your heart to sing that song. Because there is something that's going on in the midst, and it set the tone that everybody is in an emotional place. Yes, yes, yes. And you're in a place where it's dark and you can't find your way out, yes. and you're wondering kind of like wearing like your cones all around. Yes, yes, yes. But here's these two men. They're setting them in begging. They're in a poor situation. It's a bad picture. But guess what? When they heard that Jesus passed by. Wait a minute now. There's an opportunity, brothers and sisters. When you come by telling somebody about the good news of Jesus. We need to understand there's an interesting thing right here. Everybody don't want to change their circumstance. That's right. Some people like misery. And misery like company. Some people don't want to get out of that pity party, but guess what? They can't get attention no more. That's right. That's right. And all of a sudden, you get out of your pity party, hey, ain't nobody looking at me. Let's right. Amen. Amen. tell you some things that's going on here. Amen. But when I'm looking at right here, here are two men that was in a situation that could have kept their mouth shut. But they took advantage of the opportunity. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. And got, they got excited because when they heard that Jesus passed by, look what happened. They cried out. Yes. Wait a minute now. Hallelujah. They could have waited and said, well, I'll get him in a few minutes. No. They've been waiting a long time. Yeah. And brothers and sisters, God wants us to ask him yeah. for some great things. Yeah. 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 God wants each and every one of us to quit asking and praying for meagerness. Yeah. And he wants us to up the ante because he has an infinite resource of everything that you need. Amen. Amen. Some of us have been praying too small. Yeah. Some of us have been giving God a chance to show up and show out in your circumstance. Yeah. Because in our mind's eye, we think he's a small God. Yeah. But everything belongs to him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God specializes in the impossible. Yeah. Yeah. And what we're looking at right here, yeah. in these two men's lives, in the lifetime they've been here on this earth, that nothing good came their way. All right. All right. It looks like it is totally impossible because guess what? They can't see. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nobody else told them that they can see. All right. But here's somebody that got faith. Yeah. yeah. And it, a prime example of faith is the Hebrews every one. Now faith is what? The substance of things hoped. It is what? The evidence of things not. But right here is two men that's dependent on faith. Yeah. They got to be dependent on faith. Because they can't see it. They don't know what it looks like. They heard the name, they heard something, but you can't see. Some of us brothers and sisters are looking at a mountain and they call it ain't nothing but a mole. Some of us have put something so big in our mind's eyes that the bottom line is it's impassable, it's insurmountable. But I need you to understand, there's nothing earth has that heaven can't solve. Amen. 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 Yes. No heartache. No disappointment. Yeah. Just because God take, decided to take his stuff back and you mad at him, that don't change his way of taking oh, back his stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some folks got a problem with God. Yeah. Yeah. Everything belongs to God. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Now here's what's really amazing is God decided back in eternity, way back in the war chest room of his work that he's had on doing, he decided that these two men were going to be blind. Yeah. Yeah. But that ain't fair. Yeah. How many times we just said, God, what I'm going through ain't fair. Yeah. Yeah. Favor ain't fair when God's in love. Yeah. 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 What you're going through is getting you prepared for something Lord. greater later. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God is using you as an example yes. to let somebody know there is a God somewhere yes. and you're my child and I'm going to show up and I'm going to show up in your circumstance. Yes. And when I show up and yes. show up, everybody's going to know there's a God somewhere. Yes. But you didn't do it. Yes. Yes. That's right. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Delivered from the power of darkness. Amen. We look right here. They cried out. Sister Eason, they cried out saying, have mercy on us. Yeah. When's the last time you say, Lord, oh, yeah. have mercy oh, yeah. on me. Yeah. On a, yeah. Come on, an unselfish prayer. Yeah. Brother, yeah. Brother, we need to understand. Yeah. God wants you to talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. God wants you to reach out to him. Yeah. When God do something for you, God want to have a relationship with you. Yes, yes. He want to put an arm around you. He want to do some things yes. for you. We have a tendency to push God back. That's it. And I'm mind's eye, I don't need that, but you don't understand what you need. Because yes. God knows the future, you don't. Yes. All you know is now in the past. You don't understand that well. But God knows what he's got for you. Yes. And now that Jesus had to come this way. That's right. He had to come this way, Brother Cecil, because if he hit Reverend Man, he can't preach on the yes. deliverance of the power of darkness. Yes. Yes. To deliver you from the doubt and fear that you're going through. Yes. Run so the doubt and fear and darkness in your mind. Yes. It will drain your faith. It's like a chick on a dog. It'll suck the life out of it. Yeah. Because if you keep entertaining the fear of what if, have you ever noticed that time you turn around and believe with what your fear never happens? Yeah. All right, all right. It never show up the way you think it is. Yeah. There's always some doubt, yes. some difference yes. Yes. in the reality of what we're dealing with. Yes. Now, Sister Cindy is interesting right here. Mm -hmm. He says right here, they cried out, and guess what he did? They said, have mercy on us. Yeah. Then what they did was they attest and gave him credit of who he was. Who he was. Son of God. Oh Lord. They acknowledged he yes. was the Messiah. Yes. The they were setting back because they were of the seed of the children of Israel. Yes. And they've been having hope that the hero of the Bible was gonna come through. One day. Brothers and sisters, I know somebody here beside me is waiting on the way through. I know I'm not the only one second way. I changed my mind. Come on, Lord. But I know God gonna move, and now that in our misery. Yes. And where we at is misery and is suffering because of lack. Brothers, you need to understand, God got you set up. Yes. God got these two men set up. Yeah. Because he acknowledged, oh Lord. Oh yes. And here's the key. The son of David. No, he the one. He the one. <laughs> As a lot of folks that came around shaking and faith. Yeah. Yeah. And then back to that ego trip. Yeah. Yeah. But all of a sudden, we got somebody that got a crowd following them. Hey, because one day when Jesus do something for you, yeah. they're going to follow him. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, brother. That took March 17, 1993. Yeah. Oh, when he took drugs, alcohol, and everything out of me. I've been following him ever since. Hey, yeah. 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 Come on now. Yeah. When he do something for you, yeah. he just say, follow me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know your story. Yeah. I tell yeah. my story. Because yeah. I want to give him all the glory. Yeah. Oh, I've been looking for smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, smoking yeah. lies, smoking sherm, yeah. smoking angel dust and balmy yeah. flu. I did it all. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm glad. Delivered from that life of darkness, oh, yeah. trying to help somebody know that that reality is yeah. serving the true living God. Yeah. So quit giving up on folks that's in that condition. Yeah. Now, that used to be me, and yeah. I know He can do it for me. He yeah. can do it for them. He can do it. I'm trying to tell you, yeah. if you pray and you pray right, yeah. Yeah. everything will make a change. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So some, because God got to have some of us. The deeper and further down you go, the greater he gonna raise you up. Raise up, testimony. I'm never my wildest dream drinking some thunderbirds, but I'd be somebody's pastor. Me and the second cut better than anybody. I just choose not to cuss no more. Yeah. But I tell you right now, he can change a nasty mouth into a life that'll give you life yeah. of hope. Joy. Yeah. Joy. Yeah. Hope. Yeah. Give somebody a life of hope. Yeah. Oh. I ain't worried about it. Nobody else gonna go. He can't That's right. That's right. But look what it's like. Give me verse 31. Let's see what happened. And the multitude rebuked them. 
because they should hold their peace. But they cried the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou Son of David. Here's the key. Here's the key. Here's the key. When a sinner comes to Christ, Christ has a heart to open up. But there are people that's following him ain't real. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yes. There are people in the name of religion will hurt your feelings. Yeah. Yes. That preacher that'll cuss you out. Yes. All right. yes. That deacon want to give you a black eye and pull a gun on you. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I remember the call you everything from amazing yeah. grace to how sweet it sounds. Yeah. That's a motion to break out a razor blade and talk about I'll cut you. Yeah. Amazing grace to how sweet it sounds. Yeah. So I need you to understand just because in a name of religion they were in the crowd, they didn't have the heart of a savior. Yes, yes. They didn't have a compassion yes. for the sinner. Yes. Yeah. Don't you understand? Just go folks go to church. Yeah. Come yeah. On. yeah. Don't mean them born again. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Oh, I ain't worried about no amen. amen. I'm just talking. Come on, man. They ain't washed. They ain't been washed in the blood. They went down in the baptism hey. pool.
and say, God bless you. You can see the tears in our eyes. Yes. We start looking at it. That type of compassion is missing in a church today. Yes. Yes. Amen. Brothers and sisters, if you want to change this community, it yes. starts with the church members. Yes. Yes. You got to make a difference in this community. Yes. Yes. You got to be a bringing of light in a darkened world. Yes. If you're going to be Christ-like and you're going to walk the walk and talk the talk, yes. you got to act like Christ. Yes. Your actions, anybody in my mouth will say anything. Yes, but what about your actions? Yes. Deliverance from the power of darkness. Yes. That man of act of kindness touched that young lady. Brothers and sisters, we never know exactly the impact of that. Amen. But that one moment, it touched us land in a place. And it got down to where it moved her because yes, she Lord. said it could have been our children. Yes. Yes. Amen. Could have been your son, your daughter. Yes. Yes. Could be. Yes, Lord. So I'm investing. I'm depositing. Do good. Do something. Yes. Random acts of kindness yes, Jesus. will make a difference. Yes. So we find right here the multitude rebuked them. That's just like a crackhead coming to church. People look at him. Oh, Lord. Yes. Smell bad. Yeah. Looking back, but Jesus said, Come unto me. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Lady, now I'll give you some rest. That's where the problem is. Some folks think you got a monopoly on Jesus. Yeah. You don't. Uh. I can hear a roast crawling on cotton. Oh, yeah. I need you to understand, brothers and sisters, to be like the multitude. Sometimes the multitude is a great stumbling block. Lord. To the sinner that need to be saved. Need help. Amen. I'm Amen. telling you right now, I know I, I ain't always been in church. Yeah. Yeah. I come in here drunk. Brother yeah. Thomas, he smelled me up and down. He knew I was yeah. drunk. Oh. He didn't send me out. Yes, Lord. He had compassion. Amen. He had praying. Amen. And I thank God he did. Yes. Because he could have either had me turn around and went back. Yes. Just like the multitude is trying to tell these two blind men, hey. shut up. Yeah. Why you like they got deaf ears? Yeah. Y'all don't see. Y'all don't hear it? Yeah. Look what he said. And the multitude rebuked them yeah. because they should not hold their peace. In other words, sometimes on so that we get desensitive. Yeah. This is a time That's right. That's to a right. need. Amen. But when people are crying out from their need, oh, yes. that's why I'm telling you right now, when you cry out to God from your need, there's a different cry. Amen. There's a cry from the woman who has a real need. You know? And you know it's different. And what that'll do is that'll move something yeah. and touch Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. This, 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 this is so amazing. Watch this, what he says. But they cried. What? The most. So what happened is, brothers and sisters, we cannot let the multitude yes. hinder us. Amen. We can't let nothing stop us yes. from getting to the master. Yes. 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 He hears your call. Yes. That's it. He understands we can't allow other people's opinion of us to determine our ultimate destiny. Tell you right now, when I gave my life to Christ, if the deacon is, there ain't nothing to that nigga. Yeah, no. uh, 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 he sure said it. He said, ain't nothing to him. Uh, he gone. I'm still here. Yeah. I know one thing for sure. I know that's his opinion of me. Yeah. But I know what God told me to do. Yeah. You've been touched by the master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't going to let nothing stop you. Yeah. Because a man or woman of experience is not at the mercy of a person with yeah. opinion. Amen. Amen. The deacon, I appreciate you. Yes, yeah, Lord. Amen. Five years later, he came back. He said, you still here? I said, I told you. Amen. Just because you said it don't mean what you got is real. I'm serious about this. Amen. You don't know what I knew. Yeah. You don't know what I mean. You don't know my story. Yeah. My mind up. I'm telling you, when I make my mind up, I don't care what nobody else got to do. If nobody else going to stand for it, I'm going to stand for it. I'm you got to make your mind up for yourself. Oh. Every, almost every tub got to sit on his own body. We find right here is interesting. Yeah. He says right now, but they cried the more. You know what? The more they told them to step back, the more they cried. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They cried louder. Hey. Yeah. Guess what? Can you imagine you got a whole posse and you got two of them making more noise than the whole hey. crowd? Hey. Come on, now. you don't need with two. Hey. <laughs> Do you say when two or three are gathered? Hey. 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 I'm in the midst. So it's something about that. And what happened was when they opened up their mouth and they cried, they touched the master. They touched him in a different place. And 
they said, guess what? They cried and said, have mercy on us, O oh Lord, the son of David. Yeah. And here's the key right now. It was something in that cry. Yeah. He know they wasn't just shaking their head. Yeah. They know they make a difference when you cry. Let me hear you out. You parents, that's the difference when your child is crying and whining, just be whining. Yeah. Then there's a cry. You know you got to stop what you are doing. Go so see what's going on. That's the cry. I want you to understand it. When you cry out in your knees, in your darkest moment, in your lowest place, you know you're in a place where you have no help, and you're in a place of impossibility. When you cry out, you touch the inner sea. Yes. 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 Touch him in a place. Yes. He understood. Guess what happened now? Guess what happened? Guess what happened? Give me verse 32. Yeah. And Jesus stood still and called, and called them and said, What will he that I shall do unto you? Wait a minute. Help the way. Wait, wait, wait. wait a minute. Yeah. Uh -huh. They cried. Yeah. And he stopped what he was doing. Yes, he did. Heard. Yes, he, did. he heard. Yeah. 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 Something magical, yeah. Sister Prince, has happened that moment. Yeah. Wait a minute, a lot of folks been stopped trying to stop Jesus. Yeah. But they stopped Jesus in his track. Yeah. 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 Something magical happened right there. Yeah. 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 They, they, they hit a spot yeah. on the inside of the Messiah. Yeah. Yeah. That was a place that they touched that nobody else could. Everybody yeah. could touch him on the outside, yeah. but they couldn't touch him on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. It was simply because of their faith. Yeah. Yeah. Their yeah. blind faith pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Look at 
at Jesus on this dusty road in Jericho. Yeah. Look at him way back in the multitude and said, everybody shut him down. But yeah. Jesus stopped. Yeah. And then he turned. Yeah. Ooh, look what happened right here in verse 32. Yeah. Jesus stood still. And guess what he did, Sister Jeskaya? He called him. Boy, yes, he did. Wait a minute now. Yes, he did. These blind men didn't know where he was. Yeah. The blind men didn't know where they was. Yeah. Right. They were sitting out there. They, they yeah. were operating in darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Physical darkness. They can't see anything. Yeah. They couldn't see the Savior. But they heard him. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And he made the crowd behave. Yes. Yes. Brothers and sisters, divine love. Yes. It's not love and grace. Yes, Lord. And when God sent from glory down to earth, yes. it'll give you what you need yes. in this thing called life. Yes. Life ain't easy. Yes. Life's a struggle. But the bottom line is, God gave us a way to make it through this. Yes. That's why the 17th chapter of John, Jesus did not pray to God to take us out of the world, but to keep us. Yes. Yes. And because Jesus came to be a resource, we need to tap into that water, living water, of divine compassion. Yes. Yes. And he'll make a way out of nowhere. Yes, he will. Yes, he Fine, will. right now. Thank you, Lord. Jesus stood still. And then he called him. Mm -hmm. And down that, down he called him to the jacket. But look what he did. Then he said, Here's the question. What will ye that I shall do unto you? Oh, kill this morning, that's the question. Jesus is opening up the door. Yes. And what will you hey. that I should do unto you? Yes. What do you need me to do? Yes. 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 He's talking to you. Yes. Yes. He's talking to you this morning. Yes. Yes. You ain't calling on him lately. Yes. Yes. You ain't understand. This is a gracious offer. Yes. He invites you. Now, and I'll get the key. Don't tell me about this, Sister Princess. But now he throws the door of infinite fullness open to that all their needs may be met. Brother Billy Lee Jr., mm -hmm. what Jesus just did, this offer, he has oh, opened yeah. up a door yeah. of infinite fullness. Yeah. Everything that you need, he's got. Yeah. There is no limit yeah, yeah, yeah. to what Jesus oh, has. Yeah. He has all power. He has everything that you all need. You need. He's all sufficient. All you need. He's a God. Yeah. All, in all. all that you need yeah. Yeah. is here. Yeah. Yeah. And the invitation is given. This morning, he's challenged you and yeah. asked you, what do you want me to do yeah. for you? Yeah. Brothers and sisters, don't give him nothing meager. Yeah. Give him something great. Yeah. Yeah. Give him something grand. Yeah. Yeah. We ask for this fellowship hall. Look what he did for old kill. Yeah. He gave us something great.
understand he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So this promissory note is for you today. Yes, you. If he did it for old, he can do it again. Change is not. Change is not. You sure right, Brother Caesar? He got now. Watch this. Give me verse 33. Yeah. Say that unto him. Lord, that our eyes may be on. Wait a minute. We look at Brother Billy Jr. That's Matthew 20, chapter, verse 30 to 34. They gave an answer. Yes. They are in a place. Mm -hmm. Sister United, your sister Jeskaya, guess what? They ain't never had eyes like you. Come on. They want to see. They can't see. Yes. You say, they said unto him, Lord, uh -huh. that our eyes uh -huh. may be open. Psalm 119 and 18 say, Lord, open my eyes while I'm able to see the wonderful things in your law. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, people that don't believe can't read God's word. Yeah. But for the believer, God approved that nature. He allow you to see what the mind of God is. That's what on paper. He'll let you know He'll let you know the sensation of his hurt. He'll let you know I got something great in this B I B I D. And it's for you between the cradle and the grave. Yes, Deliverance. From the power of darkness. Yes, Lord. Say, Jesus, Lord, yes. tell you what we want. Money can't get it. <coughs> Food ain't on our mind. Yes. Clothes ain't what I want. Yes. I don't want a new house. Yes. I don't want no donkey. I don't want no new. Yes. What we want is that our eyes yes. may be open. Oh, yes. Yes. Deliverance. Yes. The power of God. Yes. yes. Brothers and sisters, I need you to understand. Yes. That was a great request they were asked before in these young men's lives. Yes. On that dusty road, and in the midst of all the crowd, and here's the key, watch Jesus show up, and watch Jesus show up. Yes. Lord, yes. Watch Jesus do his okay. thing. Yes. Everybody sitting around, they say, well, Jesus, that boy's blind. Yeah. Them boys can't see. Yeah. I know they blind. I've been seeing them all their life. They've been begging a long time. And here they have got the nerve to ask you to open up their eyes. Yeah. 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 No, he got the power. Uh, Come on, hold That's, That's all they want. They know he got the power. They know. Yeah. They got the faith. Yeah. Do you have the faith this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have the faith yeah. that you know you're going to see it? That God will make a way for no way. Yeah. Yeah. No, you show him and show out. Yeah. Do you have the faith? I can't see it, but I got the faith. You yeah. say it's the substance yeah. of things hoped for, but it is the evidence of things what? Not, Not seen. They ain't seen before. Yeah. Yeah. They believe he can. Yeah. They believe he can do it. Yes, 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 yes. They believe. Amen. Well, I'm glad you read verse 30. Give me 34 now. So Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got the perfect cure. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus got the perfect cure. Yes. Jesus has the perfect cure. So believe me, you read when you sing a while ago. Somebody touch me. Yeah, yeah, it must yeah, have been yeah, the hands of the Lord. Did you, y'all didn't say that while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be yeah, yeah, yeah. the hand yeah, of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Now these two blind men don't know who touching them. Because yeah. everybody else is pushing them back. Yeah, yeah. But Jesus brought them up front. Yeah. And now that front and center. And guess what? They don't know that it's Jesus touching them. Wait a minute now. The perfect cure. The perfect cure is, is, is a wonderful compound of infinite love and precious blood. Yes. Yes, Lord. All right, all right. It's infinite love because this love for humanity has been since eternity past. Amen. Amen. And it's because of the love that God has for you and I. And the blood that's going to be shed on Calvary is the perfect compound for a miracle. Ain't that something? Yes, amen. Yes, yes. It's very beautiful, isn't it? We find now that Jesus has compassion. That's if you read no verse 34. So Jesus had what? You got to understand. When you in your need. And you cry out in your lowest moment. You would touch 
church and have access yes. to divine love. Yes, sir. To divine character. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who he really is. Yes, and with that love and that precious yes, love is mingled with your yes, name on it. It don't make no difference about the sin yes, that you've done. It's because of your yes, belief in the master. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Jesus had compassion. Amen. On them. Yeah. The multitude, brother Cecil, didn't have compassion on them. No, show them compassion. Didn't have no compassion at all. Jesus, they rebuked him. They said, get away from here. But yeah. Jesus showed the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus desired, according to Luke 15 10, that no joint heaven or that would yeah. one son. That's right. The 99 just That's folk right. who need no repentance. Yeah. So one son, Jesus is looking for the lost. Yeah. Jesus looking for the sinner. Yeah. Jesus looking for the wayward. Jesus is looking for the one that don't know him. Yeah. Not the one that know him, that reject him. Yeah. Yeah. No one that need him. Yeah. Put on the side and take it off. Hallelujah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus had compassion on him. Yeah. And guess what he did, Sister Marie? Yeah. Not only was his compassion, he was moved yeah. to touch him. Yes, yes. Ain't that something? Yes. 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 He could have spoken, hey. but it was something about their faith. Yeah. Yes. That's it. It's something about their yeah. hurt. Yeah. It's something about that need. Yeah. It was something beyond that yeah. normal. Yeah. It was something that told yeah. me yeah. about this was quick. Most of them were in a desperate valley of despondency. Yeah. Yeah. They were in a place of darkness. Hey. There was no hope. There was nothing that they could have for. There was no future. But they was in a place to say, if I can just touch. Yes. Yes. But if you touch me. Yes. Jesus moved with compassion. Yes. And he touched. Guess what he touched him at? Yeah. Their eyes. Yeah. He addressed the need. That's right. Yeah. When you talk to him, be specific of what you need. Yeah. Yeah. Be specific. Don't give him general generalities. No. Tell him specifically what you need him to do. Yeah. That's it. According yeah. to his will. That's right. The deliverance yes. of the power of darkness. That help you out there, Sister Powell. Yeah. Tell him what you need. Yeah. Reverend Wheaton, tell him what you need. Yeah. He says now he touched their eyes. And how fast was it? Wait a minute, how fast is it meeting? Wait a minute with the quickness. So the jacket he went after wild. Yes, wait a minute now. He said it, it happened so quick. That's like going to the house at night to right? flip the light on. It's like, whoa. Can you imagine how they felt? And darkness and all of a sudden it's on the prison. Light that came on. All of a sudden their eyes is open. So they look around and see now, what? They look down like a cat with that brick you can't see. They've never, never seen before. Yeah. Can you never imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. What did they see? Right. Can you imagine when they looked around? Huh. Can you see everybody else's face like they see the ghost? Yeah. You can catch flies in their mouth they were that wide open. <laughs> they were blind for a lifetime. But all of a sudden now, guess what? They can see. Their destiny has changed. Come on. The circumstances has changed. Their life has changed. Amen. Everything has changed. What was old yesterday, but right now is brand new. Somebody today ought to know that when you follow Jesus, we have a relationship with Jesus. And when Jesus touches you, you can't be the same. You'll never be the same. Follow me. If any man be in Christ, he's a new preacher. Hey. Right. Old things are passed away. Yeah. Behold, yeah. all things yeah. become new. Yeah. Well, let's see what happened. And immediately, Brother Billy Lee Jr., yeah. uh -huh. their eyes, guess what happened? Yeah. Received yeah. their sight. Yeah. Yeah. He did all surgery on the optical nerves of their eyes. He's able. Yes. He's a doctor who never lost a patient. Yes, Lord. He's a doctor who never lost a case. Yes, Lord. He did an open eye yes, surgery yes. with no operating room, yes. no anesthesia. Yes. All he had was prayer. Brother, you look your prayer. Is anesthesia enough? Yes. Mm -hmm. Your prayer is what you believe. Yes. That's all he needs. Yes. And you touch and arrest yes. the resources. 
yes. of Jesus yes. and in your church yes. and he'll respond. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. yes. Call that causality. Yes. Hallelujah in effect. Oh, and guess what? After they receive their sight. Oh, now, that's a good thing. And hey. they followed him. Followed him. Come on, Brothers and sisters, I'm giving proof of understanding. When he delivered you from the power of God, Come on, man, you want to follow him. Yeah, right. Right. When he took me out of drugs, my yes. ball, Since March 1793, yes. I ain't looked back. Hey. I'm like these two blind men. Yes. I was blind. Yes. And now I see. Yes. I don't care nobody else don't follow Jesus. Yes, sir. Don't go. I can't tell you. 
to the street yeah. and reaching and touching somebody. I think Reverend Landry said on last night it was 40 something views. Yeah, 50, 50 views. 50, 50 Amen. views. Amen. So what we did is touching somebody else and even though we might not see it yeah. it's still touching somebody because I believe God wouldn't have said do it if it wasn't going to touch somebody. Amen. Well I know Sister Lee was uh, touched from it. I, look, everybody I was like Amen. Oh, Sister Lee. Amen. But Amen. as I was telling her God will use the who you can't even imagine Amen. to bless you when he gets ready to bless Amen. you. He's going to use who he too. It's gonna throw you totally and completely off guard. Yeah. And you ain't even gonna see it coming. And I like blessings like that. Amen. They overtake Amen. me. Amen. I like those kind of blessings. Hey. So I just want to say thank you all so much. The rain came and we prayed and the rain left. Amen. So we're grateful to God and I pray that each and every one of you all was touched by something. I was so happy to see Sister Jackie make her way out. I just said, Lord, she just got out of the hospital. I was so glad to see her still press her way into yeah. Naya and Jaskaya. I was glad to see y'all, and I'm overwhelmed and over uh, just joy overflowing to see y'all press y'all's way back out again. We just pray that God will continue to bless you, Sister Jackie, and even though when your natural eye don't see it, just know that God's blessing um, my sister sent a text this morning. My niece just got out of the hospital. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God for that. She's home. She's ready to come home. And my sister sent me a little thing that says, when you got up this morning, you were alive. And you were breathing. It might be some things going on in your life that don't feel good. But be grateful that you have a life because somebody didn't get up this morning. Amen. So I'm just passing that on to you guys because my niece was in surgery for 12 hours. She was in the hospital over a week. Touch and go. But God. But God, we're grateful to God. And sometimes we don't look at life like that. But God is able. He's able to keep you even in the midst. Even when it don't look like he's keeping you. Believe me. God is the one that's keeping us. So I just want to say again, thanks to all of the volunteers, just everybody that came and participated. It was an awesome time. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Uh, I was blessed on last Sunday um, uh, from Pastor and his wife um, with $100. And um, I was sitting there thinking about what I was going to do with it. <laughs> and immediately, two names hit my mind. That's just how I got yeah. my <laughs> And I, I 
I sat there and I pondered and I thought about it and thought about it. And I said, Lord, whatever you tell me, I'm just going to go on and do it. Yeah. And um, I, so I blessed those two people with what Praise God. was given to me as a yeah. gift. And immediately when I got home, I started sitting down thinking when I was undressing. I said, you know what? I was supposed to turn in $100 for my help and hand ministry. I said, Lord, could that have been that hundred dollars? And he no. said, no. <laughs> no, no, no. And before midnight that night, somebody had blessed me with a hundred and Praise God. Amen. Amen. I had, I, I, and right away, I took a little sticky thing and put on that hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, Lord, it was still the happening hands. You know, I'm still helping people because that's what it's for. Yeah. But God had blessed me in a mighty way, and I didn't think seconds about it. And um, out of the sixty dollars that I had left, I blessed somebody else with twenty dollars to, to help Amen. them out. Amen. So God is still good; He continued to keep blessing, Amen. even though when I think about you know some of the things I've been through in my life and how I've helped it, yeah. you know uh, things that happened. But God still but blessed God. me. But he done kept me this far, but and God. I figured that He gonna keep on blessing but me God. as long as we keep blessing others. God will keep blessing Amen. us. He says the wonders of heaven. It's so. It, it's so much of it. Tell us just screwing over, it's just boiling yes. over. And he blesses us like that yes. when we bless yes. other people. Yes. So when you're thinking about all that you have and all that you're trying to gather, think about somebody else that might be less unfortunate than you yes. are. And that's somebody who just might need to help. Yes. Sometimes we sit on things and say, Well, thank you, Lord. I can go buy me a dress, I can go buy me a pants or something. But if somebody else out there need a loaf of bread, Amen. If somebody else out there need gas just to get to the doctor. Yes, yes. So don't so much think about yourself and what you got. Think about somebody else. Oh, yes, That's what yes, God wants to yes, do. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 I just want to kind of reiterate on what my mom said of being blessed. She turned around and was blessed with that $100. I had just got to the hospital the day before. And um, she, I was one of the persons that she blessed. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It hit me when I laid down that night that you gotta bless somebody. Your mama gave you half of her blessing. Mm -hmm. You need to give half of yours. Mm -hmm. And so when I got to work, well, the person that came to mind was a lady at work. She just turned 65 on um, Friday. She's been going through some stuff. She's been sick, as I have, and she hadn't had any money. Neither one of us have in a couple of months because we haven't been working. And, um, she was the first person that came to mind, and I blessed her. <laughs> well, Friday, that was Monday, Friday, I went to work, and this lady has been subbing for me for the last year, because I've been sick since last October. And um, this lady that's been working for me, they keep her there at the school in the classroom with me in case I have to leave and go to the hospital or something's wrong. Mm -hmm. She told me that her and her daughter and husband, her husband hadn't been working, he, she barely makes a little money, so um, she has not even making twelve dollars an hour yet for working for me for Glen Park. So she's like, "We hungry. We don't have no food at home, and we've been suffering. And they won't give me food stuff because I have a man at home." So um, I, I met up with her yesterday, and I blessed her with two hundred dollars in food. And I told her, "I said, if you need anything else, just go ahead." And do what you have to do. So I was able to bless her yesterday. Even though I'm going through the things that I'm going through, I'm still helping people. I'm still praying for people. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful and I am very thankful for all the prayers for y'all because if I wasn't here and grounded in church, before I got sick, I don't know where I'd be oh, because amen. when I first got sick, the doctors kept saying, you need to seek counseling, you need a therapist, you need this, you need that. But I thank God, I talk mm -hmm. to you sometimes, I talk to Sister Landry, I talk to my mom, I talk to my man, and I'm getting through this. So mm -hmm. I just want to say for y'all, everybody here that's been praying for me, I thank God, and I just really appreciate it. Amen. 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 First thing I want to 
Thank everybody who God to show compassion. Amen. Uh, the lady you talk about at the store, at the grocery store, behind the line, yes. We, uh, I've been talking to her. She kind of throwed off yes. a little bit. She sometimes she in, sometimes she out. But uh, I've always treated her. I want to talk about the senior coffers. So I see you be listening, Red. Yeah. And the truthful folk <laughs> always when I see her, I always try to. Because she she yeah. she sleeps around there. Yeah, okay. So she eats out of whatever she can get. So when I saw that the first time I met across the thing, I if I'm around there, I don't let her do that. Yeah. Then I tell those people that now yeah. the ones who I used to know they ain't got no hope. If she come in there and she oh and Quentin Jones, the Jones boy, I said they come in there and they want something down there. They want some of my people out of my neighborhood, they let me know. Amen. 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 Show compassion to the downfall, cast out. Amen. And long as you speak that name with Jesus, that's what stick to him. They return the same thing I've been telling them with Jesus to do and how God do. Yes. So we all the same thing. God bless y'all. Yes. We want God to bless everybody. Yes. Amen. Because He got a blessing for the whole world. Amen. The good and the bad. Amen. But we always got to show compassion. I just was amazed when I heard Sister Landon say that's what they read her. Yes. 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 She's around and she always, like I said, you know, that was good. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I said, Christian ain't going to get you just go down. No. Amen. She got some passion. Yeah, that's Jesus right. did something for us because we know we weren't worried. That's right. We weren't worried. We weren't worried. I got to right. the love of Jesus and that's what you were. Amen. Right. That's right. Amen. That's what we live for. Yes, yes. We pray to the Lord. I don't want to shout everybody. I don't want to hold everybody up, but <laughs> we just got through talking about that. Amen. Amen. In the sermon that passed. The passion. Amen. 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 That was true, mm -hmm. unselfish. Compassion yes. made in those three, four verses we read. Yes. Lord. And what was fulfilled? Yes. When Jesus touched them. Yes. And their eyes came on. Yes. Amen. They Amen. said, Oh Lord, have mercy, mercy. on oh, us. Yes. Amen. Amen. There wasn't no one person in there. He said, Oh Lord. Oh, they said it twice yeah, in those four scriptures. Yes. yes. And Jesus fulfilled it. Yes. Amen. This is what God wants us to know. Amen. That we have compassion on us. That's right. That's right. If we have compassion on yes. somebody else. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's all I got to say. Amen. 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 Um, after church, in that second classroom where Sister Princess is sitting at, it's individual packages of mayonnaise, mustard, and ketchup. Please, there's plastic bags in there. Get you a handful, please take them. We have no need uh, for them, and they come in handy at home. Amen. You know, Amen. you ain't got to get just open up one of us right there in that uh, room. There's plenty of them, please. Amen. Please take some. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, once we understand the mission of the church, Amen. And the role we play, we can yes. change the community. Mm -hmm. We make the difference. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Glorify That's Jesus. what Paul told Timothy in 1 Timothy. Yes. He was telling Timothy, I'm in the penitentiary, but this is what you've got to do. And the role of the church is to yes. make an impact mm -hmm. on people that don't know the Lord. Amen. Amen. And random acts of kindness makes a difference. Yes. Amen. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Keep doing what you're doing. Amen. Amen. Because God is pleased. God said, I know your works. Yes, yes. It might be small, Amen. but I know your works. Amen. Congratulations again, Sister Landry, on a great job. Well done. Amen. Amen. It's definitely a success. Amen. Yes, it was. May the grace of God and our Lord, the Savior, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit yes. rest from the Bible with us now until the saints of God come together again. And they all said, Oh. coming out today. Amen. Amen. Amen.